Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. I hope everyone's having a great day today. Uh, Marie and I, we've been pretty busy all day long. We had some things going on. So we're going to do a real quick supper. And uh, this is something, the title or the name of the recipe is Tachos. And there's an RV Nomadic channel that I like to watch. And uh, his name is Eric. His channel name is Nomadic Fanatic. And I've been watching him for several years, and I really enjoy it because he does a lot of traveling, and it's just right up my alley. I love it. But he was in uh, Quartzsite, Arizona a couple of days ago, and he stopped at this little Mexican restaurant. He said he hoped they still sold the uh, tachos. And so when I seen his plate of tachos, I told him, I said, now that's what I want to try right there. It looks really good. There's several recipes uh, on the internet that you can look up and try. A lot of them call for putting corn and black beans and uh, jalapeno peppers and different things like that. But this one's just going to be a very basic, plain uh, tacho recipe. We're going to be using mild salts because Marie and I both don't like it too spicy. But you're welcome to spice yours up and make it as hot as you want to. Uh, Marie's not in here right this minute, but she is going to come in in a few minutes. Uh, she's going to be doing some of the dicing up of the tomatoes and the green onions that we're going to put on it. So uh, let me go ahead and get started on this recipe. The first thing I'm going to use is a two-pound bag of uh, tater tots. And I'm just going to pour them all in this sheet pan. Spread them out a little bit. Okay, got them all laying down flat. These are going to go in the oven at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. So let me stick these in there real quick. Okay, so while those are cooking, I'm going to get started here with uh, browning my hamburger meat. I'm going to be using one pound of hamburger meat, and I'll just go ahead and get it dumped in here. Got that pan good and hot already. Okay, I've got my tater tots in the oven, got the timer set on 30 minutes. I've got my brown, my ground beef broke up and it's starting to brown up. So just as soon as it gets completely brown, I'll drain the excess grease off and then I'll be right back with you.
Okay, I'm back now. The hamburger meat is completely brown. Uh, it looks real good. It don't have a lot of grease on it. And I was just double checking. Uh, most of the recipes do not call for draining the grease off of it. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that grease on there. That might have give it just a little more flavor to it. So we're going to try it that way this time. See how it turns out. I'm going to be using one pack of mild taco seasoning, and you can use a hot seasoning if you like yours a little bit hotter, but like I said, Marie and I, we really don't want ours to be too hot. So let me sprinkle this on. Just let me mix this all in together. I think that we enjoy any type of uh, Mexican uh, meal. And this meal, it's similar to nachos, but because you're using potato tots, it's called tachos. Okay, I've got that seasoning all mixed in there real good. The meat is good and coated. So I'm going to let that meat sit there. I'm going to turn the heat off completely. I'm going to let it sit there until the uh, tater tots are done. They still got 24 minutes before they're done. As soon as they're done, I'll come back and show you how we're going to set it up after that. So I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, my tater tots are done now. Okay, I got them good and brown, and that's how we want it. So next thing I'm going to do is let me close my oven back up. That's a lot of heat coming out of that oven. Okay, now I'm going to take this uh, hamburger meat with the seasoning on it, and I'm going to put this all over the tater tots. This is a very easy recipe to make. Not hardly any work at all. You know if I can do it, anybody can do this. Try to get it spread around pretty evenly. And it does have all my favorite ingredients. It's got beef, potatoes, and cheese. I love every one of those. Marie came in here while the tater tots were cooking and she went ahead and cut up the uh, green onions and the tomatoes for it. And when it's completely done, I'm going to try to get her to come in here and do a taste test. We'll see. And I did leave the grease in the pan. I'm glad I did that because it sort of need that grease to help uh, mix in with the taco seasoning. Okay, there's all the hamburger meat. Next, I'm going to put some, this is regular sharp cheddar cheese that's been shredded up. And I'm going to put on about maybe a couple of cups worth. I'm sort of just putting everything in the middle. I'm leaving the outside edges where you can see the crunchiness of the uh, tater tots. I think that looks good on it. Okay, that's about half of that bag, which would be two cups. Then I'm going to put just a little bit of the Fiesta blend on top. 
And after I get out, I'll put some more of this Fiesta blend on top of it once I get out of the oven. Okay. So now it's going to go back in the oven for 5 to 10 minutes, just long enough for this cheese on top to melt. So as soon as it gets melted, I'll be back with you. Okay, my tater tots have been back in there for about four minutes and I just glanced at it and it looks like the cheese has already melted real good. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. I don't think there's a need to leave it in there for 10 minutes. And that sure does look good. I'm going to put just a little more cheese on top and not put it back in the oven this time. And they said on this recipe you couldn't get too much cheese. And so I agree with that because I love cheese. Okay. Okay, let me get some out on the plate here. Marie, this is done. Would you like to come try some of it? I've been smelling it. It's smelling good. <laughs> it smells good, don't it? Yeah. Uh, let's see if I'm going to be able to pick it up with this. Put just some extra tater tots there on the side. Okay. Marie, would you like to come around here and put your toppings on yours? Or you want me to do it for you? Um, I don't want to be on camera because I've been cleaning house. <laughs> okay, I'll do it for you, okay, if you don't mind. Okay. I'll put you just a few tomatoes on here. And my hair looks really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I know that Marie likes a lot of tomatoes. And I'll put her a few green onions. And you, would you like to have one spoonful of sour cream? Sure. Okay. Put it right in the middle. And there's your fork. I'll let you do the taste test first before I fix my plate up. Okay. You forgot my salts. Oh, here you go. I'm sorry. There's your salts that goes with it. <laughs> Y'all hear that? <laughs> Let me go ahead and fix mine up while she's Have doing a taste test. No, but I'll get a picture of my plate. Okay. You can sit down at the table if you want to and take a taste test, Marie, and then let us know how you like it. Um, what is not to like about this uh, recipe? <laughs> Looks good, don't it, Marie? Mm -hmm. Okay, there's my tomatoes and a few green onions. Mm -hmm. The microphone may not pick you up over there real good, Marie. Marie has a very soft voice, so she has to be close to the mic for it to pick her up. It was. It is delicious. Okay, good. You like it? I really love it. This was a good idea for a meal that's very quick. Let me take a couple of pictures real quick, y'all. And uh, as soon as I get these pictures took, I'll finish the video. Okay, everyone. I got the pictures finished. So now I'm going to do a little quick taste test myself. Marie, was it very hot? No. Okay. It's real good. Mmm. That is very delicious. The taco seasoning was just right, wasn't it, Marie? Uh -huh. It's very good. All that good cheesy taste to it, and the tomatoes and the 
green onions. This is going to be a really good meal for tonight. And uh, this helped Marie out a little bit. She didn't have to cook tonight, did you, Marie? No, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, everyone. Well, we'll go ahead and end this video here. And uh, I'll let Marie say the closing words if she can say it loud enough. She's sitting over at the table. Okay, hang on a minute. <laughs> she was eating. Y'all do what you love and love what you do. And we'll see y'all on the next video. And y'all have a great evening. Bye. Bye, everyone. Getting back to who used to be home. Passing by those little towns I know so well. Stopping for gas and then I'm behind the wheel again. Driving this like a spiritual cleanse Where every mile is a new beginning And every friend holds a new end Eyes on the road, don't lose control I'm speeding fast to chase my soul I'm driving to get away Running through emotions high and low Holding on a leg For the sky, I had it all but lost and fell back down again. Spent my time playing the game where every single day was a losing battle and every drink was a dead end. Eyes on the goal, don't lose control. I'm living fast, I've lost my soul. I'm